taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another Zen Crypto video, guys. We're going to talk about these NFTs in this video. I'm going to show you my strategy, what I've been doing overnight. Uh, but quickly, before we go into that, I just saw a tweet from Jack Levin. Zen ecosystem on layer 2 chains, good idea or not? On Optimism or Arbitrum or both? I think that's a great idea, especially with Arbitrum having more or less the most TVL out of in DeFi. Out of Polygon, Optimism, uh, you know, all of them combined, right? And, um, you know, I think the Arbitrum ecosystem is going to grow. So it makes sense to have Zen over there. Um, optimism as well. I believe that's going to grow. So I went with both. 34% of people have gone with Arbitrum only. Uh, I don't know why you just won't go for both. Okay, it's going to grow the Zen ecosystem as a whole. Go and cast your vote over on Jack Levin's Twitter. Okay, guys, but... The Zen NFT. So I've been minting a bunch of NFTs or Zenturions uh, on the Avalanche Network, also on Phantom, and I have some Evmos from the Evmos airdrop a while back, and I thought I could put that to use and mint some NFT. That's the only reason I minted on Evmos. Okay, guys, and um, it's very cheap. The fees are super cheap on Evmos for minting these as uh, NFTs. So if Evmos decides to take off. With the Cosmos ecosystem later on, and people start getting hyped about Zen over there, I'm gonna have a bunch of Zen. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna tell you my strategy for the Zen Turions on Avalanche. So basically, I have done a bunch of mints, I've done some max mints, and I've also done mints so that I can claim Zen every single month, even up until the max date okay guys so every month from now every 30 days or so i'm going to be claiming some zen uh i think it's a good strategy i'll explain why okay guys so right now let's just have a look at my max mint this is one max mint right here 883 million just under 884 million zen right so for six dollar around about six dollars of gas fee let's just uh 884 million we'll just do a round number 884 million that's going to get me approximately 709 dollars worth of zen if the price was to remain the same as it is now by the time i claim that in 442 days that's a pretty good roi for around five to six dollars in a gas fee you could potentially get 709 dollars okay if we look at my smallest mint, a 30-day mint, okay? So we've got a 30-day mint right here. I do have more than one 30-day mint. This one I just did, and I know that will increase. So we'll just go with this one. Around 60 million Zen. I already know this, but just for the sake of the video, it is around, what is it, 60, around $50. Okay, guys, so that's almost a 10x of a 5 to $6 gas fee. That is pretty decent. Now, of course... It could be unrealistic with the with the uh, low liquidity on Avalanche. Okay, not everyone's going to be able to kind of take advantage of that and sell and so on, right? Um, obviously, as Avalanche grows or as it grows on Avalanche and the liquidity gets thicker, people begin to buy more Zen. People begin to add more liquidity. Um, obviously, it will be more uh, realistic for you to be able to sell. But but the thing is with Zen is that you can burn Zen. You can use this Zen to burn to get into other projects like Phoenix, DB Zen, and Exelon, and, you know, I, I don't know, a bunch of other projects that are going to turn up somewhere along the line. So it makes sense to have all of this Zen that you can use to participate in the ecosystem, to experiment in other projects and things like that. So I think it's a pretty good strategy, and I'm taking advantage of it. All right, guys? Um, yes, the gas fees are, you know, I spent about $100 minting, let's have a look. I spent about $100 minting approximately, not approximately, 17 NFTs on this chain, right? And I'm going to spend another, maybe another few hundred dollars minting a bunch more. Because I want a bunch over here, right? And I want to do the same on Polygon. I've not done Polygon yet. I know the gas fees, or when I last checked them, they were around... 
ten dollars, eight eight dollars, nine dollars, ten dollars. Okay, so I'm going to be doing Polygon as well because I believe in the Polygon ecosystem. It's slow, okay, but I do believe that you know a lot of the big players in the game are using Polygon. Okay, on Ethereum, the fees are super expensive right now. I know fees come down over the weekend, but right now it's costing about seventeen hundred dollars. Or at least last time I checked, the gas fee is the gas fee is about seventeen hundred, just to mint one Centurion. Okay, and um, yeah, that's super expensive. Um, I don't know how profitable it is because it doesn't tell you exactly how much then you're gonna get, how much that's gonna be worth. But without an example, I won't just go ahead and spend seventeen hundred dollars. And from what I've been told, it comes down to approximately you know eleven hundred dollars. Um, on the weekend, some people have spent that. Okay, guys, but I know you can actually buy these NFTs as well on OpenSea, but I've just been minting them, okay? People do competitive prices on OpenSea. That's got, you know, a certain amount of Zen that you're going to be able to claim once it matures. Everyone's got their own strategy, but I just thought I'd share this with you because, uh, you know, I, I'm diving into these NFTs. I'm late on these. I understand that, okay, guys, but I know many of you haven't done these either. All right, guys, um, if you don't want to do these NFTs, you can just mint. Um, you could just do a normal mint, okay? You can do normal mints on um, on a singular wallet, okay? But the benefit with doing these NFTs is that you can mint multiple wallets within, side, within the NFT. So you get multiple VMUs. And what a VMU is, right? It says VMU count. So a VMU is a virtual mining unit. And basically, it's got a bunch of wallets created within the wallet. Uh, sorry, within the NFT. But it's all controlled by your singular wallet, okay, guys? So to mint them, you're just going to come over here and you're going to go on Collector, right? And then you're going to choose Centurion. Now, at the moment on Avalanche, the max VMU count is 38. Okay, 38 wallets or 38 addresses or virtual mint. Is it virtual minting units? Okay, on other places, it's 128. On uh, Binance Smart Chain, it's 475. You can actually do 475 in one mint however that gas fee is about a hundred dollars it's about 95 dollars at the time of recording this video so um yeah we'll wait for the gas fees to come down on on a uh, binance for a little bit um you don't have to mint the max okay you can just mint 10 if you want you'll get a cheaper gas fee you can mint uh five if you want and get a cheaper gas fee okay but the whole point of this in my opinion is to get the most out of it okay um, I just thought I'd share this with you guys. It's a very quick video. Uh, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in the next one.